Hey, rock stars, how is everybody doing? And thank you, Meggles, for the resub. I really appreciate that. 17 months, wow. Can't believe it's been that long since I've been affiliate. <laughs> Um, I'm still sick, but I am feeling a bit better today. I might be coughing a bit <laughs> during the stream. Um, but I really wanted to get back into streaming, so. Also, my voice sounds a little off still. <laughs> my voice sounds a bit scratchy, but. <clears throat> I did not want to miss the stream. Um, yeah. And I'm... I've been, I was feeling a bit depressed yesterday because I had, I was kind of tired of just lying around and just watching stuff all the time. Um. <clears throat> but I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone's having a good weekend. Um, I'm going to try playing with my new controller, hopefully... Hopefully that works and it doesn't get me killed. Um, we'll see. <clears throat> Hold on a second. It seems to be working. Um, I tried using my new controller last, uh, earlier this week when I was playing um, Ocarina of Time, but it didn't work. But I think it was just because it was a emulator. Um, this is a Steam game, so <clears throat> I think I won't have any problems. Hopefully. <laughs> Alright. I'm drinking tea. Well, actually, no. It's not tea. It's actually honey lemon water. <laughs> Hot honey, le honey lemon water. <clears throat> that usually that really clears my throat okay did I do this already uh oh so we're getting right into it um dang okay did I I'm trying to remember what I did already cause I know I had to restart um, last time. Also, I'm trying to figure out how to play this game with this controller. Um, <clears throat> okay, I have the deoxidizing solution. So I haven't, <clears throat> I don't think I've used, I've gotten that key yet. Okay, I got one of the keys. And I have the bronze key now. And I just opened this. Oh, that's where I got the bronze key. Okay. Um, what needed the bronze key? There are two doors. Yeah, there was this door in here. In the script scriptorium. And then there was the one in the Velisca. Ba Basilica. <laughs> chapel um, I don't remember if there's anything in this room but I guess I will go in and see okay it's through here hey mermaid how are you doing today Meggles, if you're there, can you get, can, can I get a shout out from Mermaid? I don't know if you're still there. Um, I'm alright. I'm doing better. Um, I've been sick all week, which hasn't been great. But, um, <clears throat> I'm feeling a bit better today. Still coughing a bit. Um, and obviously my voice, uh, sounds a little bit <laughs> weird. Uh, yes, she did. But, um, I don't blame her. I blame the people who got her sick. 
kind of comes with living with her. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> All right. But yeah, I'm doing I'm doing a bit better today. I think I should be able to go to back to work on Monday probably. Yeah. <clears throat> right, this is where I get this. Um, I think that's, is that all that's in here? I don't remember. That's not the door. Okay. Go, go. The doorknob is rusty and jammed shut. Okay. I just need to use the deoxidizing solution. Oh, oh. Jojo. Hi. Hi. Oh, she's just giving me a sweet look. Do you want attention? No, I think she just wanted to say hi. <clears throat> she's going to go up on the windowsill. <laughs> right. I don't remember if there's anything in here. <laughs> yeah. She's so cute. She's such a pill, but she's very cute. She really likes her room. <clears throat> her new room. Okay, and it's just that thing, which I have no idea what that has to do with anything. Because it looks like they're just collectibles. <laughs> I don't know. Because this is where the collectibles usually are. But hey Jen, how are you doing today? <clears throat> Did you have a good week? Okay. Moving on. You're also sick. Oh no. Everybody's getting sick. Like literally everybody. My parents are sick too. Think some there's something going around. Yeah, something going around that's not COVID. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure this. Uh, I'm almost certain this wasn't COVID. <clears throat> Luckily, not COVID. Just a spring cold. Yep. Same. Yeah, I've been out of work <laughs> all week. <sighs> Um, okay, so I want to go to this room over here. <clears throat> okay, now I can go in this room. Oh, and I was able to go in this room. Uh, I hope I'm able to survive. Well, I still have this guy. I haven't even gotten, I had to use, um, what's his name, David? So. <clears throat> I think I'll be good. Ah. Hopefully. <sighs> okay, now I can use this on this. 
The other key. Jesus, that must have been the durable. Or something equally heavy. The second key. And then there's the third key, which is in the um uh graveyard. And then there's the fourth key. Is it only four keys? Yeah. Uh, the fourth key is in the wax figure. It's all coming back to me. <clears throat> well, it has only been a week. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to succeed this time. Oh, hi, Jojo. What are you doing? Do you want to come lay with mommy? Or are you going to cause trouble? Come here. You want to come lay on my lap? Come on. Oh, she's acting very lovey right now. Come on. Come on. <laughs> she's so cute and distracting. Oh, looks like she's gonna lay down now. Oh, she's so cute. I don't know if I could play with you like this, so. <laughs> she's gonna mess me up. <laughs> Maybe, we'll see. <laughs> Aww. She's so lovey. But I, sh I think she wants hey, all the pets. Listen. Hey, listen. <laughs> okay. uh -huh. uh, yep, she's leaving. <laughs> I bet she's gonna start causing trouble soon. <clears throat> That's what she does. She's sweet though. She does have her sweet side. All right, it's time to go in the graveyard <clears throat> to get that key. And then go in the... Oh. oh, fuck. Of course. I don't know how to... I don't know how to run. It's just that my um, controller is still vibrating. <laughs> She's just sitting next to me right now. Okay. <clears throat> Is this the... Yes. What are you doing, Jojo? Please don't mess me up. 
I still have the bronze key. Why do I still have the bronze key? Is there a room I'm missing? Went and then went to sell again. Hold on. I just want to make sure. Was there a room I forgot to go back in? Or go try to go in? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, I forgot to do the. Oh, I could do that later, I think. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think there's anything. Yeah, there's just that. Too. Maybe it's in the, um, maybe I need it for the, um, the tomb. Well, it's not, it's not exactly a tomb. <clears throat> All right, I got the librarian's ornate key. Holy Mother God. Now I have three, and I'm about to get the fourth one. It's, uh, I don't remember what it's called. Maybe I need the bronze key to get in there. And I forgot about that. Jojo, are you gonna lay down there? What are you doing? She's restless. She's so restless right now. What? What? You're gonna lay down? Oh, she's really happy right now. <laughs> she's making biscuits on my bed. <laughs> Hi. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, she's being too cute right now and distracting. I'm trying to play my game, girl. <sighs> I don't want to go in this room. It's the Abbot's cell. <clears throat> I can leave the key. Okay. Uh, I don't want to go in here. It's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. For Christ's sake, this is insane. Oh. All right. I already read this. How can there be so many lunatics in the world? Yeah, I don't know. Hey, listen! Hey, listen! What are you doing, Jojo? Oh, she's playing with her toy. Oh god, you scared me, dude. Holy mother of God. What is this madness? 
All right, let's look at this. Yes. All right, There's now we can go. This That's all I need. I'm keeping it. Don't need anything else. I don't think. I don't need anything. There's no. Um, what's it called? Confession. In here. I don't see any. But I need to get out of here because. He hates it in here. Which is understandable. I feel like they said something on there. Oops, I did not mean to do a screenshot. I'm getting used to this controller. Um, hold on a second. I feel like she's playing with her toy on the ground. My cats too distracting. Okay, um, I feel like, yeah, when I was reading a walkthrough last time, because I was stuck, um, there was something they said about this happening after you go in, um, the pri uh, prior cell? No, not prior... Uh, I don't remember what his, what his name is. Um. And they said that you can go in there, but you have to leave quickly or something? I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. That's what I'm trying to see. Jojo! Joe, Joe, you need to get off my desk. <laughs> She's laying on my desk right now. Uh, Joe, Joe, come on. Hold on one second. I will be right back. Alright, I'm back. I just let Jojo out because she was being a pill. I'm like really close to the end of the episode, I think, so it's taking me a long time to find it. <laughs> um.
graveyard. Abbots, the Abbots bed chamber. <sighs> okay, death trap or not. While on your way back through the graveyard, one of the mausoleums will open. It will swing open on its own. The mausoleum that swings open should be... Run down the stairs behind the door and pick up the prior's confession at the bottom, then race up the stairs and exit. What? I don't know if I should. Should I chance it? I don't know if it's worth it. It's getting one of... Get the final tar tarot deck. Well, the final card. I guess I'm chancing it. Um, I think I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take my chances. <laughs> I'm too scared. <laughs> I'm too scared. And I'm not sure if it's worth it. If it's just a collectible. Like... I usually like collecting things, but I also don't want to have to do this episode again, so. <clears throat> I would like to survive with him if I can. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, now I just gotta find... Well, I'm gonna get the other... Um, I'm gonna go to the confession booth again. Because I do have one confession. So I can get one of the cards, at least. One more card. Even if I can't get all of them. I only have three? Yeah, I guess so. Oh well. Alright. <sighs> Time to find the kitchen. Which I had trouble finding before. <clears throat> I think it's in the refectory. Yeah, it's in that room down there, right? I think so. So, um, I'm gonna go through the scriptorium. 
Oh, I'm almost, I'm almost done, I think. No, that's not, not the right number. Please let me not have to deal with the silence. <clears throat> um, let's go this way. <sighs> I want to survive. Why is your heart racing? All right, let's put this in there. And then use this. Treasure. <laughs> Takes me back to my archaeology days. I have to wait until it's not red anymore. Looks like it's good. I think. Ooh. Yes. There we go. Uh -huh. <sighs> the work on the bow is barely visible now. Hmm. I've got all the keys I need to open the metal door. <sighs> Which, um, don't know if that's going to be such a great idea, but, oh well. Should I go at this door? Yeah, I'm going to go out this way, I think. <sighs> Please let me not have to deal with the silence. Safe for now. Wait, this is not the right way. I have to go up the other steps, right? Yes. I have to go the other way. I'm used to going upstairs that way, but it's not gonna work this time. scared. Christ. Twenty more pounds and I wouldn't have made it. You've been in here before.
I'm scared. All right, this seems pretty self-explanatory. Ernest, wait. Stop. Don't cross that door. It's yep. the same door that I saw at Usher's place. Don't cross it. If he's in there, I should go in. I've, uh, I've been there before. Die. Uh, oh, well. All right. Please, find Sebastian. I think it's gonna be the end yet. <laughs> I don't remember which door he went in. No way. Must be blocked from the other side. <coughs> Don't do the thing. What the hell is happening? God. Mr. Husher? Shit. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Mr. Husher. No, 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 no. Sebastian. Oh, shit. Fuck. Oh, he's dead. Fuck, man. Fuck. This is the same place. The same room. What's happening? Husher, he didn't make it. He must have been dead for days. Dang. I don't see anything odd. I'm almost surprised that what I see in the reflection is the actual room I'm in. Did I go into the mirror world? <laughs> um, what? Uh, what? It's going all right, Meggles. How's it going with you? Huh? Diary of Argo Argos the Grunt. Reflections and experiences from the creator of the music box. Mm -hmm. I'll read it later. Now I have to get out of here. <clears throat> Diary Argos the Grunt. Damn it, another useless lead. Another fucking riddle. I have to get out of here. Who's that girl and how come it looks like she can't even see me? Sweet Jesus, I know that face. I've seen it in my nightmares. Took an actual nap? Nice. That's good. Okay, how do I get out of here? Uh, I guess I just gotta go through this door. Slept for a bit? Good. Do you feel rested at all? What the hell? I don't know which way I should go. <clears throat> My body really needed it, yeah. I bet. Damn it. It won't open. Okay. Dang. Uh -uh. It's locked. I feel like they're all locked. Oh, or not. Damn, this is bad. Shit, I think I'm going to lose it. Ah! Oh, okay. Oh, shit, this can't be happening. I must be seeing things. Yep. Oh, shit, Dan. Wake the fuck up, man. Dang. <sighs> You 
what is going on. Am I? Thank God. Uh, okay. Mango just tried to get in the cat box. Oh, Mr. Noya, are you alright? Did you find no. Sebastian? Mr. Finnegan, I... Sebastian is dead. What? Oh my God! How? I'm sorry. I... Shit. Let's get out of here, please. I don't have much time. Sebastian? Wait. What do you mean, you don't have much time? He said the same thing on his way here. And I... Jesus! If only I'd paid more attention, if only I'd done something! I don't think there's anything you could have done, really. Maybe. But maybe I can do something for you. Thanks. All I need right now is to get out of here. On our way, then. <clears throat> I can't believe I survived with him. Husha died in there. Trapped. He probably struggled and screamed until he went mad trying to find a way out of that godforsaken place. Like me, only in his case, nobody got there in time. I imagine he thought that there was a quicker way to go, the same way that Father chose. And maybe I would have done the same in his place. What I saw myself do in that mirror was just too much. Is this what lies ahead? Maybe I already know it, but I'm trying to hide it from myself. Maybe deep down, I know it's a hideous omen of what the future has in store for me. Maybe I know that, like everyone who's come across that cursed box, I too will take my own life. That I would rather surrender to death than face whatever it is that lingers behind that infernal melody. I should burn the thing, make that melody vanish from the face of the earth. But. What about Ariadne? She's alive. What if only the box can stop this? I can't destroy it without knowing for mm. sure. Maybe there's something in Legrand's diary. Oh God, I need to rest and gather my thoughts. I need to sleep. I can only hope the nightmares won't be as horrible as real life. <sighs> All right, so I'm on the fifth and final episode. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, Mangles. I don't know why it's not 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 happening. Congrats on finishing the episode. Thank you. Oh, I can't believe I survived with the other guy. <clears throat> um, I thought for sure I was gonna get him killed at some point, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I'm going to take a quick break before starting the next episode, but I will be right back.
All right, I am back. And time to start the next episode. Usher died in there, trapped. He probably struggled and screamed until he went mad trying to find a way out of that godforsaken place. Like me, only in his case, nobody got there in time. I imagine he thought that there was a quicker way to go. The same way that Father chose. And maybe I would have done the same in his place. What I saw myself do in that mirror was just too much. Is this what lies ahead? Maybe I already know it. But I'm trying to hide it from myself. Maybe deep down, I know it's a hideous omen of what the future has in store for me. Maybe I know that like everyone who's come across that cursed box, I too would take my own life. And I would rather surrender to death than face whatever it is that lingers behind that infernal melody. I should learn a thing. I kind of want to skip it because this seems exactly the same as what we just listened to, but, but I'm, I'm worried melody. that there's something. She's alive. What if only the box can stop? Without knowing for sure. Maybe there's something in Legrand's diary. Oh god, I need to rest and gather my thoughts. I need to sleep. I can only hope the nightmares won't be as horrible as real life. I think I probably could have skipped. Oh well. <clears throat> <sighs> Sleeping. Uh oh. Have played with that melody. God, I need to find something. There must be something here. Every single person who attended that cursed concert in the Abbey, the entire Legrand Amersberg family and I, we all heard the song. Argos Legrand's diary, which I found in that place beyond reality, was my only hope of unveiling something, anything that could take me down a different path than the rest. And yet, Legrand's notes seemed like nothing more than erratic and incoherent ramblings of a broken <coughs> something toward the end that made some kind of sense although I wish I hadn't it's all over just a moment ago I like every night the song was invading my dreams grating incessantly I woke up <coughs> soaked in sweat and veiled by the shadows Natalie was sleeping but I was not this time, it had to stop. I was hell-bent on destroying the source of that awful song. I went down to the basement and tore down the same wall I built myself. With each blow, I cursed the moment I decided to bring that melody into my home. I couldn't take it any longer. There she was, behind the wall. My wife, huddled in a corner holding Elaine in her arms. I froze. If Natalie was there, what kind of diabolical creature was sleeping by my side? Monsters. All of them. My beloved Elaine, Natalie. The monsters had locked them away and wanted to take Ariadne. They wanted to take my baby. I grasped the mallet, determined to... Do whatever it took. I would not allow those fiends to take my daughter. Not without a fight. They would 
room the day they tried to harm my family. I would kill the monsters and the black figure and find my little girl. Hey, Paladin. I followed them throughout the house. Thanks for the lurk. Every room was shrouded in darkness. <clears throat> there was something unnatural in the air. The melody had transformed into a choir of black curling howls. But I finally cornered them in the bedroom. Where I finished them off. I drew blood. And it flowed like a well from the grotesque black figures. While they screamed and writhed. The vile deceitful fiends. And then. I went back to the basement. And there was nobody there. Natalie and Elaine had disappeared. Uh, I don't know. No. That is true. They had not disappeared. They had never been down there. They were upstairs. In the bedroom. Where I had left them. Damn. There were no monsters in the house. Except me. <clears throat> Only. Damn. Sebastian P. Husher is dead. Oh Daniel. Uh, okay. Okay. It that ends happens. like this. Wait. What is this? Jeremy Hartwood Mental Hospital. Right? Oh God. Psychiatric analysis and treatment of patient Ariadne Legrand Amsberg, Doctor Berenice Prestigard. Ariadne. Oh, okay, hold on. <clears throat> now, I'm excited to play the next episode, but, um,. scared because it's a mental hospital an old mental hospital okay who should I be can, do, can I not be Daniel I guess not um Etienne Bertrand um Etienne a competent self-made man is sales manager at Wake Publishing making him Daniel's direct supervisor in his role as personal assistant, Daniel has become somewhat of an errand boy, but Etienne is slowly giving him greater responsibilities. Although they love to complain about working together, they have grown fond of each other, developing a friendship outside of work that neither of them like to admit. Um, Lydia. From humble origins, Lydia became a psychologist and social therapist after losing several friends to the heroin crisis of the 70s and 80s, when she committed to helping addicts fight their condition. <clears throat> she met Daniel in detox therapy, and after his recovery, they became lifelong friends. Daniel considers Lydia his savior, but also a tireless comrade, comrade who you can always count on. And then Sophie. <coughs> Life has put Sophie to the test many times, but she always pulls through. It was thanks to this resilience that she summoned the strength to put an end to her failing marriage with Daniel. Sophie, who runs a well-known art gallery, is now enjoying the ever-elusive property she's always longed for. Oh, I get Sophie back. Well, who should I be? Um, I think I'll be just to start at the top. Wait, what? Oh, I can't. Are you kidding me? 
So I'm gonna have to call them. But she's not gonna answer either. Oh my god. Wait, yeah. Really? I think it's because I played them before, right? I think I, I played Etienne before and Sophie. So it looks like I only have one person, <laughs> which will suck. Oh, he will only send one person to the hospital. Yeah, that's the only person I can choose anyways, <laughs> so... Dang. Lydia, guess what? I need your help. I know, I know, I I'm, I'm very sorry for calling this late, but listen. I found something. It's only a small lead, but it mentions everything and has the Jeremy Hartwood Hospital stamp on it. Yeah, that's the one. I, I, I know it's a bit far, but I, I think someone there, a Dr. Berenice Prestigard, read this diary years ago and looked into this madness way before we ever did. It says 1920. There must be something left of her research. If I'm not mistaken, the hospital was abandoned shortly after World War I. So maybe everything is still there. Her notes, her files, something. No, no, I think, I think I'm running out of time. I feel bloody exhausted. I can no longer tell the difference between reality and my hallucinations. I need you to look for something, anything, and call me. <clears throat> I know it's a lot to ask, but I don't want to end up like the rest. And something tells me I should visit Ariadne one last time. Yeah, take your cell and call me if you find anything. As soon as I find out what <sighs> Dr. Prestigard was investigating, I'll drive over to the Grant Amersberg mansion. Yeah, good luck to you two. And thanks. Dang. Probably if I had survived with Sophie or Etienne had them, uh, hadn't killed them, then I would still have them as an option. I don't know what's going to happen if I die with this character. Will I have to start over? Or will I give them a chance with Daniel or what? I don't know. This place looks abandoned. Jeremy Hartwood Hospital, an old mental health institution for the rich turn dump or something worse. Hmm. I'm not going anywhere. Daniel needs me and I'm not going to let him down. Not after everything we've been through. Uh, this place is big. I can imagine the sound of the water and the fountain and the peacefulness of this garden back when the hospital was op still open many moons ago. What is that noise? What are these birds doing? I'm just looking around, seeing if there's anything of interest over here. I won't be able to open that gate, but I don't need to go that way. Okay, fine. <coughs> I should take a look at that old power generator. 
Hmm. It's obvious that they were dismantling the place. Come on. Why don't you look at it? There we go. What did she say? A uh, broken handle. A handle stripped off from a power generator. The rope has rotted away. I can't use that until I replace it. Dang. <clears throat> the rope looks a few decades too old. I'd better find a replacement. So I need to find a replacement for the generator. <coughs> Anything else out over here to notice? Looks like they tried to empty the hospital but had to stop at one point. I'm assuming she's going to say I don't need to go this way. It looks like I can't. Careful. The gate looks really unstable and it must weigh a ton. Okay. Well, I guess I will go inside. I feel much safer outside than inside. <laughs> I can't go in. Oh wait. Never mind. The horror in the song. Daniel, you didn't overcome your alcohol addiction to let this kill you. I thought you won't let it happen. Not that way. This panel controls where the emergency power goes to, but it's not getting any electricity. Seeing the gurney there, I can only imagine the chaos this place was in. I really hope this was part of an attempt at dismantling the place. I think my skinny bum <laughs> could fit in here no problem. I've always liked marine art. There's a stapler on the other side of the glass on the desk. Hmm. But I don't know if I should stick my hand in there. Uh. Empty drawers and worn down objects. Nothing to see here. Maybe I should try and open the door. What is this? I don't know if I should look at this. Looks like they never got around to moving. Never mind. Let's try. Nope. Standard medical equipment too damaged to be of any use. This is creepy. <sighs> I can't get through here. It'd be too dangerous to move all of that. Well, let's try and go in here. It's locked from the other side. How is that possible? Hmm. I don't know. Well, I can go in here. 
there's another creep thing. Uh oh. None of the medical centers I've worked ever worked at had this uh, apparent variety on the mem menu. I guess the rich haven't changed much. There's something on the table. What? I'm trying to look at it. I can't look at it. An old photo torn to pieces in an attack of anger and dis or despair. Maybe I could put it back together? Oh, that's a puzzle. Well, it's one of the, one of these kind of puzzles I could probably do. Um, let's see. Where's the rest of his shirt? That doesn't look right. I don't think so. Huh. Well, at least you don't have to do it in like a specific order. You just have to try and put it together. That's it. Maybe not. Jeez. I don't know. This could be. <laughs> this is actually pretty hard. <laughs> Are these multiple pictures or something? It doesn't seem something doesn't seem right. <laughs>
Yeah, something just does not seem right with this picture. There's something wrong. Maybe that, maybe it goes to this. That's the bottom corner instead. I don't know. Seem right. Oh. <gasps> Wait a second. I was supposed to be looking at this. I can't even see what this says. <laughs> From highest to lowest. The seven. The seven are in the photo. I have no idea what this means. <laughs> From highest to lowest. Oh, man, this puzzle is... I'm going to come back to it, you know. More than it seems. Wait, did she put it back? What is this? Dismantling notice. Report described describing hospital works. The dismantling has terminated. Work isn't done, but we're not going to stay here a single moment lo minute longer than we have to. Two of the teams have refused to return to the East Wing, and Isaac and his boys tied a thick cable around one of the fridge doors to keep it sealed. They don't, they don't want to open it, even though scores of tools and kitchen utensils are back there, along with a couple of high-quality chest freezers in perfect condition. That's not the first problem we've had, but the situation has gone too far, so we must leave. I don't blame them. This place makes my hair stand on end, and I've, be I've been inside for less time than any of them. There are still so many things of value in here. Typewriters, radios, luxury furniture. It doesn't matter. As soon as Emile's team returns, we're leaving. I hope they don't. Uh, Terry or Nightfall is going to catch us here. I wonder what the hell is taking so long. I hope I don't have to go in to look for them. Uh oh. <gasps> Somebody ruined this painting with those black stains. Stress or psychosis? Which way did I come in? Was it that door? Yeah, I think so. I don't know what to do with that puzzle. <laughs> From highest to lowest. 
the seven something or the five. Who's the highest? This guy? Ah, <coughs> <coughs> uh, it doesn't make any sense. They even have fancy furniture in the canteen. This place was classy. I don't like all these statues, things that are covered. Just brushing against the dirty old blanket would probably give me typhus. Uh, she just walked through the thing. <laughs> That wine was probably already expensive in the 20s. It's almost as if I'm touring a strange museum. Useless rusty instruments. Luckily they don't serve alcohol to mental patients anymore. We've evolved somewhat since the turn of the century. Daniel would probably throw up if he saw so many liquor bottles in one place. Boy, has he changed. I'm so proud of what we accomplished together. Anyone up for a pint of beer gone bad? Not me. Alright, so let's try and go in here. Now, oh, I'm not in the entrance hall yet. I see many small stove burners instead of several large ones. I guess people got to pick their menu. Judging by the size of that sink, they didn't use large pots. I don't know what was in there, but it looks like I'll never be able to find out. It looks like the closet is open. Hiding here would be child's play. Knives. They could come in handy, but they're in such bad bad shape they'd probably just fall apart. <clears throat> Alright. Hopefully I can open this. Uh, or not. Oh, I thought this would take me in there. <laughs> I guess I'll just have to. Um, someone use this cable to make sure the handle won't move. Um, I think that would be a bad idea. I think that's probably a death trap. terrible. What's left of old tin goods? I don't need to take anything. Should I take this drawing and save my collectible for later? Ariadne's lost drawings. The representation of a scene that happened. That's terrible. Just a collectible, that's all that I got out of this. Why do I have to listen at the door again?
something in there though. Well, we'll see. If I feel like I need to go in there, then I will double check that it's not a death trap and then... Understand this, but I kind of want to do it before I I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't get it. I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> Episode 5. Okay. All numbers are in the photo. Oh. From lowest to highest, all numbers are in the photo. Okay, let's see. Uh Oh Jeez. Okay, this is cryptic. <laughs> uh Okay. There's no way I would have been able to get this at all. Oh, okay, so this says people standing, people sitting, clothes, mustaches. <laughs> oh, okay, black outfits, white outfits. Mustaches and glasses. <laughs> and 
and it's lowest to highest. I don't know, highest to lowest. The seven numbers, okay. So what has seven in it? <laughs> Um, I have no idea. <sighs> Let's start over. I don't get it at all. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> I don't get it. How would something have seven in it? From lowest? No, it's highest to lowest. All numbers in the photo are seven. Um, all numbers, wait, what? No, it's from highest to lowest, the seven numbers are in the photo. Hold on a second, let me see something real quick. Okay, the photo contains clues to get a series of numbers to use in an electronic number pad. <sighs> what? <sighs> okay. Then that, that doesn't help me, I just have to put the photo together. I guess. Um, okay. Okay. That doesn't seem right. <laughs> Okay. I need somebody's lay. Is this it? Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, I see the guy's head in it. I can't get it perfect. <laughs> uh, 
that's the best I can do, I think. And then there's... Okay. a little bit better. <laughs> um, okay. I need this. I hope it's not expecting perfectionism. Because I don't think I could get it perfect. No, I think I just need to know. Oh, this is annoying taking me forever. Okay, I just need to use it to figure out the code. <laughs> That's what it wants from me. Okay. From highest to lowest to the seven numbers are in the photo. <clears throat> Glasses, people standing up, people sitting, black outfits and white outfits and mustaches. Okay, so let's see. I think is does that guy have a mustache or not? Wait. This guy has a mustache. Are there three people with mustaches? Okay. And there's one, two, three four, five, six people with white outfits and one person with a black outfit. <clears throat> there's two people with glasses. And there's three people sitting. And four people standing. Is that it? I feel like there's got to be a seven in there. Am I missing somebody? 
One, two, three, four, five, six. What? No. There's seven people all together. There's only... Maybe there's seven people in it. Maybe I have to use seven still? I still lowest. What does she say? She doesn't say anything. Seven numbers are in the photo. So there's seven numbers. There's seven numbers. Okay. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. People in white. There's one person in black. There's one, two, three people with mustaches. There's three people sitting. There's four people standing. That's only five glasses um there's two people with glasses um, i don't understand it <laughs> i'm just gonna use the code that they gave me on here What? Okay, so I guess I need to go in that room. I thought this was a bad idea, but... It's not too far-fetched to think that cable could be useful. Should I take it? Yes. Mm. Cable. A knotted cable previously used to keep a door shut. Oh. Clearly it's still holding up. Looking, hey, Look at it. It's held that door shut for God knows how long now. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Alright, so I needed the cable, but... Um... What was that? What's in there? <laughs> I can't risk going in there if it's dark. It doesn't like the light. Okay. Well. <laughs> I have the cable, though, so that's good. <laughs> Heh <laughs> heh. 
I like all of those emotes. Okay. Moving on. How's it going, mermaid? What are you up to? Um, okay. Or should I... I guess I gotta go out. And I am supposed to try this. <coughs> Should I try to grab the stapler? It's risky, but I think my arm fits in that hole. Alright. Nothing much, just watching everyone. Nice. Um, this, the building is in better shape than you would expect for a place that's been abandoned that long. It's still half in ruins, though. Well, I think I'm supposed to use this cable for the generator, probably. Which will help me... Lighten up the place. <laughs> Let's try this. I think it's a smart idea, but I need to attach the cable to the handle to be able to start the generator. Okay, yeah, I know. <coughs> Got it. Fixed handle. A power generator handle tied oh. to a cable. This cable the cable will hold up if I try to start the generator. Making some progress. <clears throat> what the? Now that the generator's on, let's see what I can do here. Oh god. Okay. Thank god. Um. I could only turn on one, I guess. I'm sure the next the room next door is some kind of access control. May makes sense if this was an institution with potentially dangerous inpatients. Should I go in there? I don't know. Mattresses, bed frames, and other furniture all lying about. I guess I'm going in. I think this panel unlocks the door to the security room. Alright, let's try this. <laughs> the door's open. Yet another obstacle we've cleared. Maybe it's Three, uh, seven people or something was the other number. I don't know. I couldn't figure it out. I see some notes there. Let's have a look. Ah, Dr. Baroness Prestigard. That's a good start. 
Today's session with Ariadne was by far the most productive to date. Not because of the conversation we had, for her mind continues to adhere to the usual extravagant patterns, but because today she asked to get her things back, which led me to a surprising discovery. Down in the storage room, I was convinced I would not find any of the belongings taken from her when she was admitted, but there was nothing further from the oh, truth. No. There was a diary and a music box. After handing the box to Ariadne, I quickly browsed through the diary, which apparently belonged to her father. And that's where it gets interesting. After years of researching paranormal phenomena, Argus Legrand's investigation led him to the Abbey of St. Cecilia, where a cursed concert had supposedly taken place. After spending a considerable amount of money, he got his hands on the only remaining sheet music from the concert and convinced an acclaimed musician to play the music one more time. <laughs> the new cursed concert would take place on a steamer that would sail down the Rhine a few weeks later, and both Legrand and his assistants would be there to contemplate the true effects of the song. After the concert, Damn. the tycoon wrote the following in his diary. Those ignorant, illiterate fools. I can only laugh at their curse and their stupidity. The only misfortune that damn song has brought is a hole in my bank account. Alas, at least I take the melody with me. I will have it recorded and play it each day for my family. Ha! Oh, God. <laughs> Those drunk, lazy bastards. Their misfortune was caused by their own stupidity and bad blood. Wanting to put the blame on a song is yet another sample of their total lack of culture. Argus Legrand never knew that the steamer suffered a strange accident just hours after he got off that killed everyone on board. Damn. Yet his thoughts on the melody eventually changed. They did indeed change. Hmm. I can't believe it. Daniel wasn't exaggerating. This is much worse than I ever imagined. Shit, looks like Bernice Prestigard found something big, really big. I need to find more of research information. All kinds of user manuals for 80-year-old appliances and some security procedure documents too. Nothing to do with what I'm looking for. The docs in this folder haven't made it to our days. such a shame that these film reels have gone to waste. This is creepy. Completely stuck. I can't open it from here either. <clears throat> Same with this door. That's where the padded cells are. It's horrendous. Looks like an audio visual documentation archive from the period. There might be something useful in there if I can open it. I don't know what I would open it with right now. I don't have anything. I think the projector still works. Unbelievable. Hmm. Bloody hell, just a mannequin. I thought it was something else. Oh god, shit, Daniel, you were right. This place is no joke. It would probably fit here below. You mean you would probably fit? Oh, that screen is enormous. Now I just need a, to find a movie to play on the projector. Okay. Need to find a movie. <clears throat> I need to open that thing somehow.
Well, I guess I'm going upstairs. It looks like they never got to finish what they started. Oh, this hole connects the two rooms. It looks like someone covered it on the other side. Wow, this piano is in pretty good shape, more or less. It doesn't like the light, but it likes the song. Huh. Oh god. Um, I can't see the information. It's too dark in here, I guess. I don't like the thought of going back in a wardrobe. Going back. Music can really help with mental illness. I'm glad this patient had the chance to pursue their hobby. I'm guessing the patient was planning on rehearsing all of these songs. It's too dark in here. I need to see that. How do I get brighter? Oh god. Oh, really? so dark. How am I supposed to? I need light. <sighs> I'll have to come back, I guess. <laughs> locked on the other side. I'm guessing it leads to the staff area. <coughs> Looks like a painter's utensils. Charcoal sketches. Some aren't even finished. They look professional, though. This place is a huge mess. Huh. Seems like the patient never got around to finishing the painting. Hmm. The wood is swollen from the humidity. There's no way I could open the cupboard now. So that's not a not a hiding spot. This patient kept a Bible on their nightstand.
Hmm, I think someone used a sketch to cover some king of imperfection, imperfection on the wall. Yes. Looks like two of the hospital's patients shared. I can see the room next door. Seems like these two patients had their own shared little secret. There we go. Is that going to make it brighter over there? Hopefully. Let's see. If I hadn't seen... If I hadn't seen the other room, then I would have... <coughs> <coughs> yep, there we go. All right, let's try this. Okay. It doesn't like the light, but it likes the song. Okay. So it looks like this. this? Yeah, I think so. sure that this is right. What is that? Is it this? I just want to be sure. It looks like it's that. But I don't know. No, maybe it's this. I can't completely tell. I think it's this. Should have been it. Did I miss something? I don't get it. I'll try it one more time.
That feels like it should be right. Let me cheat. What is the problem? I'm just doing it. Okay, so they have to be the keys that are in the shadows. <clears throat> Not. Okay. Let's do it again. Then. Um. So let's see. So it's this. Can't see what that one is. <laughs> Might be this, possibly. Okay, I'll try it with that, I guess. Yes. <clears throat> Again, I can't see what that is. <laughs> I think it's Oh, I think it's that one with the dot. Uh This one. Maybe. <laughs> I might be wrong. Oh. Okay. A key pulled out from a piano due to the peculiar sound it made. Oh. The key seems to weigh, weigh a bit more than the others, but just a bit. Okay. What the hell did I just play? These notes. I felt something indescribable. Terrifying. Oh no. Did I just curse her? How am I supposed to get the key out? There we go. <laughs> I see, they hid this tiny key in here. Okay, now I have a key that I don't know what to do with, but. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think I'll be able to open those drawers.
Um, this is creepy. If those animals were alive, this room would be like Noah's Ark. <laughs> I see the patients here took their hobbies to the extreme. A bunch of old chipped trophies decorated the shelf. <clears throat> okay, taxidermist instructions. Cryptic notes written by a psychiatric patient. She blinks, awoken by hunger. Tis nighttime and she listens. She takes flight, swift, lethal, and s lethal, silent. You scream as she tears you away from yourself. Satisfied, she lands on her nest and hoots to the wind, announcing her victory. Her firm grip paralyzes you, and blood spills as she feasts. She swells and beats her wings, and set satiated, satiated as she sleeps. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Don't know what that means. Classic novels and an old amp lamp without oil. <laughs> Looks like this patient had other health issues. Okay. What am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> Is this a puzzle? I don't know. <coughs> Can't open it. The knob doesn't move. Okay. Huh. Small cabinet with emergency supplies. The lock looks broken. I need some kind of tool to pick it with. Okay. Well, I don't have that yet. I don't have anything. I haven't really found much. <laughs> Shit. I can't even move it. It looks like I need a key for this door. Probably not this tiny key. Uh -uh. Yeah, I didn't think so. I think this goes to something special, but I don't know what. Don't go in there! Okay. I'm sure many people walked the hall back in the day, but I won't be able to. It's locked from the other side, I guess. Well, what am I supposed to do with this taxidermist? Okay. Okay. Just cheating. I don't want to be cheating though. I don't need I don't need to be cheating yet. I can come back to these puzzles. If I need to. <clears throat> oh god. Maggles. You get me every single time with that. <laughs> Alright, now what? Can I open this thing in here maybe? With this key? I don't know. I'm gonna try it. Let's try the tiny key. Yep, that worked. Film reel, an old audiovisual recording. Uh -huh. It blows my mind that they had access to sound recording devices. Let's see what's on this. I don't know if I want to know. I wonder if this projector still works. 
will soon find out. Interview with Ariadne. How's it going, Magels? Oh, I'm playing this. <laughs> I don't know if you're still here, but how are you doing? This is weird. Hi, Ariadne. How are you? Do you feel like talking today? Hmm. You know, I think you're right, but I don't see things like you do. Really worried about Mango. Oh. If you don't feel like talking, you can draw whatever I'm sorry. comes to you first. I should give something to Ariadne so she can draw. There's a box with paints on the table. Okay. <clears throat> Turn off the light. Who doesn't like the light? The light? Who doesn't like the light, Ariadne? Should have just taken him. Oh. I don't want to turn off the light. He just seems so much better this morning. I know. old lady. It's me. We can listen to your box if you want. Sometimes I hear you playing it when I pass by your room. Mm -hmm. Ariadne is waiting for her music box. Where is her music box? We shouldn't listen to it. But now he's in so much pain I don't know what to do. Oh. <laughs> gentlemen. Is it your daddy? No. It's Mr. Neuer. Hmm. Wait, Mr. Neuer? Wait, 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 wait. What did she say? <coughs> Daniel? How is that even possible? That recording is almost 80 years old. That's weird. I still can't believe what I saw in that projection. I think I found all I I need here. Okay. <clears throat> Just gonna move on then. Um I guess I'll back. Oh god. Oof. Jeez, that scared me. <laughs> yeah, mermaid, he just is, uh, the vet really traumatizes him, so we kind of didn't want to take him unless we absolutely needed to. <clears throat> Plus, they might just have to put him on an IV. 
because that's what they did last time. Plus money, yep. But yeah, that might be what we have to do. The gate is locked and completely jammed because of rust. <coughs> yeah, any kind of vet that may help cheap? I don't know. It's so expensive and I might not have enough for you. Or give some kind of advice. Don't know. What? Someone's knocking. I don't know who would be knocking, Mabel's. What? What is that over there? Oh, it's just the thing, which... Right? Yeah, it's just that. I know with humans, we have things to help that, but I never had a pet that had this issue. Yeah, there's some stuff that helps, that's supposed to help, but... Yeah, I don't know. Okay, what am I supposed to do? I can't go up. The building is in better shape than you would expect for a place that's been abandoned that long. It's still half in ruins, though. I can't go up that way. Do hope it gets better. Yeah, me too. Mango is such a sweetie. I don't know. What am I supposed to do? Where's the lift? <laughs> Wait, there was that room. Wait, what do I have in my inventory? Nothing. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. I can't go in there. <coughs> I might have to cheat. It's still really dark in there. I can't risk going in there if it isn't if it's dark. It doesn't like the light. Okay. Oh God! What? What? What is going on? I don't like this. Oh god, I didn't listen at the door. <sighs> okay. Our neighbors just gave us our package that was delivered to them. That's what the knocking was. Oh, really? What package was delivered to them? Huh. 
I'm stuck. Might have to cheat. It's mine. I don't remember. I, did I order anything? No. I don't know. Weird. I will have to go and check it out. After this. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. There's a rat. I guess I'll go back this way. See if anything has changed. <laughs> oh. Did I try going through this door before? Yeah, I did. That's where the film projections are. I'm really confused. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do. And this isn't, this isn't really helping. Okay. Wait. Oh, I see. I can actually go through here now. I see spots of ink on some of the labels, but nothing readable. First experiment report. Experiment details of a study conducted by Dr. Bernice Prestigard. Procedure report. Um, description. The volunteers are divided into two groups. The experimental group and the control group. 
The 12 test subjects will be placed in an individual padded cells. The six subjects from the control group, North, will live there for the duration of the experiment, but will not experience any other change in their usual routine. The six subjects in the experimental group, South, including Ariadne, will be played two cycles of the song from the music box daily. Oh my god. Approximately four minutes. This procedure will continue for 21 consecutive days. Notes. The patient is expected to verify that the melody has no effect on people, and this fact is presumed to help in the treatment of her mental condition, which does not seem to improve at all nor respond to other treatments. Regardless of the results, and given the young age of the patient, electroshock is not recommended under any circumstance. <sighs> okay. Um, I think, actually... I think I might go ahead and end this... Uh, end my stream here, because... Um, I'm getting really hungry, and my head is hurting. Um, so I think I might need to stop. Plus, it's... it's I've been almost streaming for three hours, so... I think it's a good time to end um <clears throat> but yeah thank you everybody so much for coming i really appreciate it um hopefully i will continue to get better um so uh i will be able to um do my normal streaming schedule next week hopefully thanks for the uh, doing the socials megals um if you have not already, please go and check out my other stuff. I have a lot of content on YouTube um, that you can go and check out. And I'm on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook as well. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, the next time I will be streaming will probably, hopefully be Monday. I'll probably be doing um, Majora's Mask. And then hopefully I will be doing... I will definitely be doing this game again next week if I can. Hold on a second. I'm going to get um, ready to raid somebody. Not sure who I want to raid yet. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's see who's on. Um. I don't know. Let's see. Um, Karade Dax. Or I could raid somebody I haven't raided before. Or Dire. I haven't raided Dire in a long time. Any ideas, Miggles? Or I could raid Akai. Maybe I'll raid Akai. You don't know. <laughs> I think I might read a Kai Fox. Yeah. I haven't rated her in a really long time. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to get this set up. And 
yeah thank you everybody so much for coming i really appreciate it and you will see me next time bye